Hey, Righteous Risings, what's popping? It's TT here. Thank you for tapping in with me. I'm here today to give us our daily message of encouragement and guidance. So if this is your first time checking me out, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, if it resonates with you, leave me a like or a comment. I greatly appreciate it. If you know someone who may need this message, um, please share it with them. And I appreciate you. So, how you feeling today? How you feeling today? Mm. This message I just want to give to myself right now and my and anybody else who may be watching. And I just want you to know that you are talented enough. You are gifted enough. You are intelligent enough. You have everything inside of you that you need to go and serve your purpose and be great in this world. So um, have the confidence. Develop that confidence. Look in the mirror and tell yourself you're amazing. Uh, big yourself up. Uh, cheer for yourself. Remember all those uh, tests and all those trials that you got through to get you where you at right now. And just know that um, nothing can hold you back. And they don't stop. So, oh, let me bring my Palo Santo real quick. And I want you to know that I love you and I believe in you and I'm cheering for you. Yes, it's 77 degrees in Texas. Woo woo. My hair is looking not its best. So I'm on my Erica Badu shit. I got some clients here to do. So I don't really have time to squeeze myself in right now. And it's okay. I need to breathe in with my hair anyway. So I ain't even tripping. I'm just going to make these hair wraps do what they do. Because you know. Because you know. You know how it go. Seventy-seven degrees. My birthday coming up. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Do I want to go somewhere and be a little kid and jump on trampolines? Do I want to have a get together? I have no clue. But I ain't even tripping when it's time. It'll be amazing. So, God, angels, spirit guides, ascended masters, archangels. Thank you for giving us the message that we need today for our highest good. Thank you that I'm able to interpret the message clearly. Thank you that it's just what we need to hear. Contemplation. Contemplation is the card for today. And um, what I'm feeling from this card is um, too much contemplation can be self-destructive. Too much contemplation can um, turn into procrastinating and, and self-destruction because um we already know what's popping. We know we are amazing. We know we have the gifts inside of us to go into this world and do what we are called to do. So the time for, for contemplation is been one. It's been one. It's making me think of the inner knowing card that I got the other day. Like she's sitting there thinking contemplation. Yes, contemplation can be a procrastination. No need to overthink what you already know. That's what I'm getting from that card. Contemplation. Contemplate your current situation and allow your thoughts and feelings to flow. Use your mind in conjunction with your heart and think things through before making decisions. Enjoying her time in contemplation, this mermaid uses her creativity to look at various outcomes and scenarios. The beauty of this is that it could be fun and it can be a fun and creative process, allowing you to imagine 
imagine you're experiencing the things you're contemplating without doing anything in the physical reality. It's a bit like trying before you buy and commit. This situation calls you to think deeply, using your wisdom and imagination to arrive at wholesome solutions. Your feelings may be a bit confused right now, and you're prone to follow your heart, which is usually a good thing. This situation calls for you to use your mind in conjunction with your heart and think things through rationally before coming to any decisions, especially potentially life-changing ones. Contemplation is a type of meditation, only it entails engaging with your mind instead of trying to stop the thoughts. When you use your mind and heart, wisdom in union, in unison, it's possible to make major decisions in life knowing in life, knowing you've covered all angles and explored several options and outcomes in the safety of your own imagination. Perhaps someone close to you is contemplating their future. Let them know the importance of staying in a positive state of mind when going through this process as what we project can come into being. So it's wise to be mindful at this time as you contemplate and play with the possibilities. So this definition behind this card is saying to engage think things through imagine yourself and what you contemplating in the outcomes but i'm feeling that you already know what it is so bust a move so i'm gonna pull another card for us Listen to the music. Number 19. Listen to the music. So when I see this card, I'm feeling the music of life. I'm feeling the music of nature. Like get outside and listen to the sounds that uh, the universe, that nature, that spirit is creating because it's healing for us. This card also means literally listen to music. Listen to music that you like. Make sure you listen to music that is feeding your soul. I used to have a tendency of listening to sad depressing music and i still kind of like that kind of music but um where i'm at in my life right now i'm just trying to manifest healing and happy emotions and peaceful emotions and music uh programs your subconscious so it's important to listen to things that's feeding your spirit not only listen but watch things uh Guard your eyes. The eyes is the window to your soul. So listen to music. Music is going to be messages in the music. Listen for messages in the music that you are listening to. So let's see what the card is saying in the book. The bridge to heaven is music, and right now your spirit is calling you to enjoy its benefits. Don't allow the ego to diminish its importance to your spirit or cut you off from its fuel. Music not only regenerates your body, it also raises your vibration and fills your heart with joy and enthusiasm. Turn on the music to gain access to your higher self and the divine plane of inspiration now it will calm your mind so that inner guidance from the spirit can be felt choose the most uplifting melodies possible and watch how life will begin to dance to their rhythms right over your fears engage music as the best energetic way to clear all negativity 
and eliminate any obstacles you face right now. It's liberating. It's a liberating vibration you will feel. You will free. Wait a minute. It's liberating vibration will free you from old patterns that no longer serve you and help channel direction from the angelic plane to your conscious mind. Music will calm the moment. As you listen to it, the heavenly forces will work on your behalf to bring about joyful resolutions and peaceful outcomes. So what I was thinking to suggest and recommend, reggae, uh, Steve, Stephen Marley's, uh, uh, Bob Marley. I really enjoy listening to their station on Pandora because it's ninety uh, percent uh, uplifting. So that's what I'm gonna be listening to today, um, to help myself feel amazing. Uh, yes, music. So. I want to see what the number 19 is meaning. Okay, so the number 1153. Angel number 1153 is a message from your angels that the changes you are considering or experiencing will be long-term benefit for you. Trust that all has come about for a reason. And these changes are stepping stones along your life path. Your angels and ascended masters encourage you to make these changes gracefully as they lead to your life purpose and soul mission. Trust that these changes will be most auspicious. So, yes, this is this is making me think of the contemplation card. Like, um, yeah, there's no need to contemplate because you already know you have everything inside of you. Like I said before, that you need to be successful. And it's just about stepping out on faith and not letting fear control us, not letting our mind overthink and create these uh, scenarios that uh, rarely even freaking happen. Just do it and, and do it with what, whatever you have. Whatever you have, you have enough to do it. Whatever you need will be provided for you. Trust. Number 19. Angel number 19 is a message from the angels that your goal has almost come to completion. Or that a phase or a situation in your life is coming to an end. The angels want you to know that one door is closing and another is opening. Your angels ask you to remain positive throughout these transitions and look forward to wonderful new beginnings and auspicious opportunities. So, yeah, um, contemplating is over. We need to use our creativity, our mind to think about the things we want. Think about how we see our life like um, just like uh, those that miracle card I got yesterday and that abundance card I got yesterday. It's all about creating with, with our mind. And don't be attached to what you need to let go of. If it's some things that you need to change, uh, work your best on resolving those issues or healing those, healing that within yourself so that you can um, grab a hold of these new opportunities that's ahead of us. And, and, and don't, don't be discouraged. Change can be uncomfortable. Um, um, I know it has been a challenge for me, but I'm pushing through every day. When I make a new video, I'm pushing through. I'm changing. I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I feel like I'm called to do, and that is to use my voice to uplift. Use my voice to help people feel seen and heard and know that they are loved. Use my voice to share. Just be transparent and share because when we share, it helps other people. I promise it does. And it helps us because we are releasing. We're releasing and teaching at the same time. And when I discovered that I really like to talk, it helped me learn because just listening to myself talk, it like 
brought things out of my subconscious mind up to my conscious mind to where I can connect the dots and be like, oh, okay, now I see why I did X, Y, and Z or whatever. Or I learned this from this lesson. I'm going to end this video here and I appreciate you guys for watching me and don't forget to hit the subscribe and share my videos. I have intuitive guidance tarot sessions available. Um, it's 15 minutes up to an hour. So if you need me, hit me in my email. I'm going to attach the email to this or you can hit me, follow me on Instagram too, at Spiritual TT. I'm going to leave that in the uh, description box too. And I hope y'all have a good day. Enjoy yourself. Be your best. Be kind to yourself. Be forgiving and loving to yourself. And only do what feels right for you. And I will see you guys soon. Deuces.